You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. Today we're taking a look at a pen I just found yesterday at the Target when I made a Target run. Uh, I love the Pentel Intergel, and this is apparently a new version of the Pentel Intergel called the Kuro. And it uh, looks like it has some... Uh, maybe Japanese there? I'm not really sure what the deal is uh, with these pens. As far as I can tell, these might just be a new look for the Intergel line, but that's okay. Uh, so this is the, <laughs> these are like the first Intergel pens that I used, which are these, uh, this is an old school one, cushion ball tip. They make some that are also a needle tip. I don't have any of those left. I've used them all up over the years or they failed. The Intergels were a little bit wonky back in the day and You'd have a, a problem where the post that holds the ball in place would like come out past the ball, not on these uh, these cushion tips, but on the regular needles, and the whole thing would fail. And it happened a lot. But uh, since then, I've had a lot of Intergels that are great, and I really love this style. These are really good pens, but their style is... Like, it's kind of loud, you know? It's got a lot of chrome, it's got like these bright, colorful grips and stuff, which are very, uh, very comfortable. This is a comfortable pen to use, y'all, but... Uh, sometimes if you're in a serious meeting, you're like, click clack, you're like, let's write with this bright orange and silver pen that's from space. Sometimes people aren't into that. Um, there are also these metallic ones like this, which are fine, but like very specific. I don't think I've ever seen one of these that wasn't a metallic. And then there are these. I've got a couple of these, uh, these Intergel BL417s. And these are pretty good, but they're about as exciting as your average Bic to hold on to. Uh, I mean, they're, they're fine. But they're an extremely simple, like, just plastic chassis. Nothing nothing going on here. You can take this apart. Let's see what uh, refill this has in it. It's probably the, the regular... Yeah, the LR7. I think all of these are pretty much the same, uh, same refill. So we'll see what's in these Kuros and, uh, and check these out. Okay. All right, let's get into the Kuro. Quick dry, no smear, smoothest writing ink, medium 0.7 millimeter, colorful inks. It says roller gel. Uh, yeah, Pentel LR7 refill. So the same thing that's in all the rest of, well, it's in these. So same kind of refill as in these, but different bodies. So let's get in here. Uh, no smear, smudges, no globs, slim, rubberized, latex-free latex barrels, built-in molded grip for effortless writing. Cool, let's get in here. Kuro. Ugh. I got this set at uh, at Target for, I think it was 10 bucks. Three, six, seven, eight. So eight pens for 10 bucks is not bad. A little over a buck a piece. I'm into that. These are, first off, much lighter than these. So this is a, this isn't a heavy pen, but you can tell there's a bunch of metal and stuff in it. These Kuro ones, are actually quite a lot lighter. They have a little metallic band here, uh, just before the nose cone. They have a clip and knock assembly, which it's pretty satisfying sound. Not super loud. It's not going to annoy your coworkers too much. But you can still click it a lot. That's pretty good. Let's get inside here. It said it was the LR7. Oh, it's got one of these trim rings that just comes off. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, good old LR7. So if you have a pen that takes the LR7. You could perhaps pick these up fairly cheap. I've seen them on Amazon and such. After I got home, I googled them, and they're like seven something for a pack. So you can get these pretty inexpensively, and that's good. This is a very slim pen. Let's uh, let's get some paper in here and try them out. Although I kind of know what they're gonna look like. It's always fun to, to test. All right, first off, we gotta peel the little, make a little plastic ball on the end to keep the gel ink from drying out. Oh, that came off nicely. Good. So this is uh, blue. All right, so we got. Uh, Crow blue. Got this green. Got a red, which is quite nice. I've always liked their reds. I tend to get inner gels in red because it is a really bright red. It looks a little bit orange there on my on my uh, my monitor screen, but we'll see how this looks on the film or on the the actual recording. This looks like it's gonna be a pink. Yep, good stuff. Uh, we've got another more different blue, which I like. This looks good. Forgot to underline the pink. There we go. Uh, here's the black. 
Oh, black's got a... The black doesn't seem perfect. Now it seems fine. All right, good. Uh, and then the orange, which actually uh, I might save because it's going to write the same as this one. Which is just one of the best oranges around. I, I really like that orange a lot. But uh, I'll keep this one from drying out just in case. And then purple. Which ends up being a really nice violet. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, I enjoy these uh, these inks and stuff. I'm I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be too thin for me. We'll have to see. I'll give this some, some more use writing and stuff. The refills, of course, are awesome, but... Uh, this, this, uh, this body might be a little bit on the, might be a little bit on the skinny side. So looking up close, you can see there's a little bit of a texture here at the grip. Nothing comes apart. It's all one piece, this whole body. Uh, and it does feel kind of, it's got kind of a soft feel to it. It's not exactly rubbery, but, but it's not like a regular hard plastic either. That's a, that's an interesting feel. But I think it's an attractive pen and certainly putting it next to one of these, it's an entirely different look, but also... It's a lot skinnier. Let's get my caliper. This one that I like a whole lot is 10.6 millimeters, 10.7 millimeters. This one is, yeah, 9.4. So if you're a person who likes a skinnier pen, this is like a millimeter skinnier than the uh, than the regular inner gels. How is it compared to this one? What do we have here? 9.7. Yep, yeah, 9.7 looks like across the flat sides. Not this dude. Since I'm in here doing a 9.1. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So it's about the same as these, actually. So if I could use these, I'm sure I can use these. So that'll be pretty good. But uh, yeah, a little skinnier than I prefer. I'd like an extra millimeter in there. So it's kind of like this. But, uh, you know, these have a whole different look. And you can fit a bunch more of them probably in your case. Because you're just going to cram them in there like that. Tell which colors they are by the knocks. And uh, use this brilliant gel ink. Which is real good. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all later. Quick clicks. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend. Those things tell YouTube that you enjoy these videos. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'm going to keep making them. So I'll see y'all later. Peace out.